Did you have any um, mental health uh, problems or support or use any charities that, that supported that? Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I was having a lot of mental health, like stress and anxiety, a bit of depression. And for me personally, what helped me was my faith um, in jiu -jitsu and jiu-jitsu. So being a Christian, obviously I used to go to church yeah. and that used to help me a lot. The community, you know, the messages. And also I started training jiu-jitsu around when I was doing A-levels. Okay. You know, when I started to um, get a bit older, I guess. Yeah. And I felt like um, I wanted to do something to help me with my stress. Yeah. And I had a friend who is now, I think he just got his black belt, I believe. Oh, He's an man. assassin, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a guy called Conrad, Polish guy. Okay. No, oh, you. God, that makes it even worse. Yeah. yeah. Oh, We're yeah. strong, black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, I'll steal of, clear of him, thank yeah. you. Yeah. We've got a couple of strong uh, brown yeah. males, haven't we? So. Honestly, the way he moves, you, you just look at him. Like, <laughs> yeah. How is that possible? Yeah. yeah. Um, and he, he was always like out there, like, you know, living life stress free. Mm. I mean, obviously, he always has his own issues and problems, but. The way he was living, I was like, you know what, I want to do what he's doing to see what, you know, what it can do for me. And then I spoke to him and me and my mate Phil, we went down to jiu-jitsu. And up until that point, I was lifting weights at school, yeah. uh, you know, not properly, you know, just normal bro. As, bro as we stuff. do, uh, <laughs> bro lifts at 18, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Good. Chest and arms. Just chest and arms, that's what I was about to say, no legs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, so I still thought I was quite a strong lad. Um, but I've never had an issue with, with my ego, thankfully. I've always been quite humble. But I went there and I've never been athletic in my life. So I've never played any sports. I guess I never got a chance to get into sports yeah. when I was younger. So I was very, very scared. And I got there and I couldn't turn my left or my right. <laughs> like, <laughs> Imagine, you know, first, your first thing you do is like a shrimp, isn't it? When you go jujitsu, And I was there for like weeks trying to learn how to do a shrimp. And I felt like this is a whole new world. Like, you know, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> and usually like, when I'm really bad at something, that pushes me to like get better at it. And that's when I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get better at it. How did you think it helped you with your mental health, jujitsu? Um, it It was one of those things where like initially it was the release of stress from just doing physical activity. You know, you just go there, you learn new things. The, the time you're there, your brain is completely focused on what you're doing. Especially for me, because I'm not a physical, like naturally physically talented person. I had to really focus to like, you know, learn these different things. And then we started sparring quite early on. And that I found was like, it puts me in a situation where like, I guess, I'm not sure how to explain this, but you know, in real life, back in the day, you'd have like fear from animals like bears or lions yes. and you get like a normal stress reaction and you either run or fight that lion or whatever you do. I mean, I don't know who fought lions, fight, but fight or flight. <laughs> fight or flight. <laughs> either way, yeah. you, you burn off that stress, you know, that cortisol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now you get your daily stress you know, from workplace or whatever you might be dealing with, but you don't get to burn that stress that way. And in jiu-jitsu, you actually get put in a real survival situation. Yeah. Someone is trying to choke you up <laughs> and you, you are fighting for your life in a way, right in a safe environment. So it gives you a very clear head, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Very clear mind. Yeah, we've talked loads about it already on previous episodes, how, yeah, you, you're basically playing a, a game of who can kill who with whose body. <laughs> um, but that physical adversity does, I find, certainly dials down the stress of everyday life and everyday stresses, so... Definitely, yeah. To, so to begin with, it was the physical activity and, and the beauty of jiu-jitsu where it can put you in a situation where you feel like this is the end of the world, but mm. it's actually not. Yeah, yeah. There is always a way out. you just got to find it. Yeah. You know, you, you've got to keep trying. If you give up, you won't find it. Yeah. So it kind of almost encourages you to keep trying, keep thinking about it. And then over time, I started to build like great friendships. And um, you know, that was really helpful, like, even when everything was going wrong, you turn up to jiu-jitsu and people start roasting you. <laughs> you're like, okay, this is some sort of normality. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, I've really got to be thankful for my coach in Gloucester, Murray and Chris. Um, such a kind-hearted person, you know. Like I said, I was in very on a limited budget 
and I fell in love with jiu-jitsu, then I, I just couldn't keep training. And he, you know, he said, you know what, Cal, just train. And that- Just let you train for free? Yeah. So nice of that. I trained there for years for free. Yeah. And <laughs> but things like that you never forget though, will you? You never yeah. forget that, will you? What, was, sort the, of what was the guy's name? Amari Burton. He's a yeah, shout out, black shout belt out now. Legend. Uh, Another savage. He's, he's, pressure, <laughs> his pressure is insane. And then Chris Davis is my other coach. He's also a black belt now. And uh, yeah, th those two guys. I mean, also growing up, like from when I was younger, uh, Jiu Jitsu also gives like really good role models in a way. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I've got my role models at church and at Jiu Jitsu, and they all both give different pers perspectives. Like, uh, Mari, for example, like, he's so good at like teaching you how to de deal with adversity. You know, even like, you know, I mean, I got made homeless. First thing he did was let's meet up for a coffee, talk about our options, and see what we can do rather than be like, oh, let's panic. And all that. he was like, you know, he calmed me down, he's had a coffee. And that alone just meant so much to me. And just, you know, he's running a business. What was his gym called? Uh, Gracie Barra Gloucester. Gracie Barra Gloucester. And uh, yeah, he's running a business. He didn't have to let me train for free. And that's just a testament for how much mm. of an amazing person he is. And generally, I find these people that train Jiu Jitsu are the same. They're very, very kind people. They generally find themselves through Jiu Jitsu as mm, well. 100%. You really get to learn who you are, especially when you're in a situation where you're really struggling and your ego's <laughs> under attack. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and you gotta be like, who am I? Like, yeah. you either learn to deal with it, humble yourself and carry on, or you quit.